Shanghai is this city where nothing's easy, but everything's possible. It's a city of optimism, a city of opportunity, a city where you can do anything you want. And today, what do we want to do? We want to take some pictures. Here we are in Fuxing Park. So you can look around at this beautiful park in the middle of Shanghai. There's people dancing, there's people singing, there's people playing the accordion, the clarinet, these crazy whirly things that make this incredible noise, exercising, stretching. It's a microcosm of China. Shanghai was my home for almost eight years, and now it's been almost three years since I've been here. And I've missed it. The sounds, someone singing in the background, the sights, the people, the smells. It's great to be back. And I'm here shooting a travel story so that I can help to transport you wherever you are in the world, on your couch, in your cubicle, from there to the heart of Shanghai. And for me to do that, I need to bring together a number of different elements. I need to bring together some people, some food, some interiors, some architecture, sense of place, some street photography, a view. All of these sort of things need to come together cohesively so that you can experience Shanghai from afar. It's actually something that took me aback when I first came to China, was how much life there is in the mornings in parks and how beautiful it is. And so the images that we're taking are going to have to not just work together cohesively, but play off of each other. You don't want a portrait and a portrait, or a view and a view, because your eye is going to get bored. You want something that's different and different, but that work together somehow, whether it's color, whether it's context, whether it's texture. There has to be something that holds these images together. There in that one little picture, you have all of this richness of China and Shanghai. And then as the light starts to die at the end of the day, we're going to try and get our city shot. And the reason I'm doing it at the end of the day here in Shanghai is because today we've got a little bit of pollution. The sky is not totally blue. It's not totally white. But I've found that the best city shots happen sort of in the 15 minutes after the sun goes down, where you get this gorgeous blue in the sky, the buildings start to glow, and everything just starts to come together. And we hope that there isn't so much particulate matter in the sky that it obscures the buildings. Okay, we're getting there. And then afterwards, in post-processing, we're gonna bring it back. This way we get all of the possible detail. So I'm gonna put it almost to the point of blowing out, and then we're gonna dial it back. Here we go, Shanghai. You're starting to look pretty great. There it is, now we're cooking. Okay, great. Right on cue, 15 minutes after the sun went down, and Shanghai is cooperating. I'm pretty sure that this shot I'm about to take right now is gonna be the money shot. So here we are in a bamboo forest near Huangshan in China's Anhui province. This is a world apart from Shanghai where we've just spent a couple days. So we contrast the hurly-burly density of a city of more than 20 million with bamboo as far as the eye can see. The quiet nature, running water, green everywhere. And we're in spring right now. And so the weather's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not too humid, it's actually quite perfect. So we've spent the day hiking up a mountain, taking some pictures, some landscapes, so that you can have a sense of China 
beyond just one city. Tripods are hugely important if you're taking any sort of a landscape photo at a distance. The slightest vibration is going to make your picture unsharp. It doesn't matter how fancy, how expensive your camera is. If it's not steady, you're not going to have a great shot. I think that that's one of the things that's important about a travel piece is to give you a sense of place. Now, it's impossible for me to say, hey, it's China in a single photo. But I think with a handful of photos, you're able to start to cobble together a story where you're seeing this mosaic that is China, the most populous country on earth. 